feel? Yeah, good. Obviously a bit tired, but really good to win a match like that in uh, tough conditions, mentally, physically. Um, yeah, just n another five set win for me, which is good. Um, yeah, just lots of positives. But yeah, just tired at the minute. Uh, obviously, physically and uh, mentally, it takes a lot out of you, those, that type of match, just to keep fighting and chipping away. And yeah, the, the heat just, you know, it saps the energy out of you. Is that the hardest physical test you've ever had? Yeah, it's definitely one of them, for sure. I mean, I've obviously played longer, um, two Anderson matches before ours, bang on, I think, so longer, but um, yeah, that this one today was was very tough. You know, the probably hottest conditions I've played in for a, that sort of period of time. So, um, I mean, I don't know the temperatures, but obviously on paper it was saying it was pretty much 40 degrees today. So, yeah, just so really happy to come through and, you know, mentally it's it's a really good win, uh, that sort of match. The tournament director did come out halfway through your match today and stop play because of hate. Would you have thought that was fair enough given the conditions? Yeah, I definitely would have taken it for sure. <laughs> yeah. What about that second game in the fourth set, Carl? That, that yeah. Really, it's ever there's a pivotal game in a match that seemed. Yeah, it's long. probably the longest game in my career, to be honest. Um, I did, it was like felt like 15, 20 minutes, but. It was. It was 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah, long. I mean, sets get played as quick as that. What was the problem, Carl, when you had the medical timeout in the first set? Uh, my back was just a bit tight. I just wanted some hot cream on it. You had a run, sorry, you had a run where you, you lost, you were you know, setting a break up and you lost mm. seven seven games in a row. Was there a particular reason for that? Was it just a, a, a swing of momentum which can happen when the, the other player picks up? Yeah, it was just the tennis reason, nothing else. Just a uh, game went away from me a bit, just lost lost my way a bit with that and he obviously um, got confidence from it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just sensing those situations. He obviously was... He's always aggressive, but maybe he's slightly more aggressive, and I was just a little bit too passive. So the point, the points, I was, I think I allowed him, the points to come very easy to him. Um, so obviously being a breaker, and then I think I lost myself twice in a row to lose a set. This is is not uh, is not what you want, but yeah, obviously it happened. Um, well, yeah, three times in a row because I lost myself the the first game of the third. And then I actually turned that momentum around, but lost it again. So, yeah, the middle of the match was tricky like that. And he said in a tweet that he thought it was the best win of your career, given all the mm. circumstances. So I just wondered, do you think it's, do you feel like it's the best win of your career? Oh, it's definitely up there for sure. I mean, it's really hard to put, you know, if it's the best win or not. I mean, for sure that the physical test was a great, great win for me to come through like that um, in a Grand Slam. Best of five sets in that kind of heat, you know, really, really good for my my career and my confidence going forward for sure. I mean, on paper it's obviously not, but it still doesn't mean it's any better, any better or worse that type of win. Um, I think the fact that I was down like that and came through a lot of tough, tough um, moments in the match um, is is really you know really good for me and. Uh, you know, show good character to come through that. So, two, you know, five sets this week against two good players. Uh, yeah, it's pleasing for me. Did you have um, many kind of physical symptoms out there of, of the heat? Was there any point where you, you kind of felt a bit funny within yourself or? Strong? Yeah, it was hot, man. It's it's tough. Like that's there's no there's no um, getting around it. You know you. For me, mentally, the, you know, I just accepted it's going to be tough today. Like it's going to be, it's going to be hard. Physically, you're going to probably feel not your best, but yeah, that's just the way I approached it. And it was tough out there. Like I said, it drains the energy out, it saps the energy out of you. It's to to repeat and repeat and repeat. It, it's tough. You just the best way of doing it, I find, is just to manage yourself. Of course. Um, that uh, in the fifth set is tough. Like, I'm, I'm feeling, like, you know, I'm feeling down with the body or 
not down, just, I don't know what the word is, like you're just obviously feeling it. So what, what that's the way to, you get through it. What have you done to recover since coming off court? Uh, just stretched and eaten and tried to drink, drink as much as I can, um, ice bath. How confident are you that you will be able to recover physically? Yeah. Yeah, just, you got a day off. Uh, yeah, it's normal tennis. Like that's why we train you every day because you you need accumulation of hours, not just one one off day or one off match. It's hours and hours of, of, of day after day. So I'm pretty yeah pretty confident. I mean, t t two sleeps till till the match. So I guess that's the beauty of Grand Slams is that you get that day off. I mean, I know obviously Karlovic, Seppi, both both excellent players, but you know, on paper, it's it's a good chance, isn't it, for you to get to your first quarter final? Yeah, I, I don't. Know, it's a tough amount. Like the reason I'm playing in the fourth rounds because the other, the guy I'm playing has also won three other three uh, matches, so he's also going to be feeling good and feeling good about his game, like myself. So uh, yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, it's zero zero. It's a fresh match. It it doesn't really matter about head to heads or, or um, what you know what their number is in the bracket next to their name it makes no difference. Um, as you've probably seen this tournament, there's a lot of seeds that have gone out. So um, yeah, it has to be a it has to be a a new challenge for me and get all that out of my head. It has to be you know ready ready for battle. Really, that's the way I look at it.